Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be doing an Asus uh, Tough Gaming Alliance themed build. The motherboard of choice is the Asus uh, Tough Gaming X570 motherboard, which gives us uh, plenty of future proofing um, here as it will support the next generation uh, Ryzen CPUs. The CPU of choice is the uh, Ryzen 5 3600. Uh, for memory, we're going with 16 gigs of uh, DDR4, 3200 megahertz, um, and for storage, we're going to be go with the Western, Western Digital Black SN750 500GB there. It will be housed in the um, Cooler Master casing, also branded, uh, Tough Gaming Alliance branded. The, C the GPU of choice here is a Zotac uh, GTX 1060. Uh, the reason for this, it's a temporary uh, graphics card since the uh, current release of um, the next gen 30 series uh, NVIDIA is still being rolled out. Uh, ideally looking at a 3070 probably to, to go into this build. Um, the, for the CPU, uh, the cooler is also um, tough gaming um, branded there by Cooler Master again. And to power it up, we're going with the Superflower 750 watt uh, power supply here. With that, let's get into the build. All right, let's get started. Insert the CPU. Making sure that the golden triangle there lines up with this corner of the socket. Should just drop straight in. a little bit, make sure it's made good contact and lock into place. Next, let's take, off, take the RAM. And for memory, we're going to go with slots further away from the uh, CPU. So I'll go with A2 and B2. All right. Next, let's install the storage, the 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. This motherboard has one heatsink that covers the MVNE, so I think we'll put the uh, 
the storage under that one for extra cooling. Finger tight these um, bolts. Before finally securing them. It's already fitting solid. Sure, sure. 
any securely hooked on. And let's get the front facing fan into place. <coughs> Drop the motherboard into the case. 